As far as data types are concerned, we have so far mentioned integers, strings, and floats. Now you're gonna learn two other data types that are lists and tuples. Both lists and tuples are often referred to as sequences because they are sequences of objects. Let's start with lists. Lists are the most important between the two. <laughs> so let's start talking about lists. A list is a sequence of objects. And these objects can be numbers, strings, files, and many other data types. Let's create a list of integers. I'm gonna call my list file list and add three integers in the list. Uh, let's quickly see what we got. So it's a list of integers. Now, uh, each value of the list is called the list item. Lists are extensively used when automatically performing multiple actions or iterating if you like. If you want to add uh, more items to a list, you can use the append method. So append is a list method that adds a new element at the end of a list. And we use a dot notation to apply a method to an object. Now, uh, lists are indexed, meaning that every element of the list, every item of the list, has a certain index starting from zero. So for our list, 2015 holds an index of zero, 2016 has an index of one, and 2017 has an index of two. Indexes are useful when we want to access certain items of the list. For instance, if we want the second element, we call the element with index 1. We write the list name and the index of the item we want to call inside square brackets. And we get the second item. And this item behaves just like an independent object. For example, in this case, we have an integer. As you see. Now, you saw that we were able to modify a list and we did that by adding an item at the end of our list. Sometimes you don't want your list to be modified for some reason, and in such cases we use tuples. To create a tuple just use this syntax. So to declare lists we use square brackets, for tuples we use round brackets. It is rare to use tuples, but in case you want your series to be immutable, tuples are always there for you. So you just learned what lists and tuples are, and more data types in the next lecture.